divisibility by 11. This is the number 2,849, and I want to find out if it's divisible by 11. So I'll start with the units place, which is 9, and ask, is 9 divisible by 11? And the answer is no, because 11 is greater than 10, so there are no units that are divisible by 11. So I'll keep those nine units as part of my exploration. Let's look at the tens place. Is 110 divisible by 11? No. But if I add 1 to it and make it 11, that would be divisible by 11. So for each of the tens in the tens place, and there are four of them, if I add one unit, I will have a number that's divisible by 11. This is 40. With four more, it would be 44, which is divisible by 11. So what have I done? I've added four units. How many hundreds are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundreds. If I, is 100 divisible by, by 11? Divisible by 11? No. But if I take one away from 100 and make it 99, that is divisible by 11. So if I take away one unit, for each of the eight hundreds, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I take away one unit for each of the hundreds, the number I have left will be divisible by 11. So is 1,000 divisible by 11? No. But if I add one and make it 1,001, that is divisible by 11. So if I add one unit for each of the thousands in the thousands place, I will have a number that is divisible by 11. So I would need to add two units for the thousands place, subtract eight units for the hundreds place, add four units for the tens place, and subtract the nine units for the units place because none of those are divisible by 11. Let's see what happens when I put together the numbers I need to add. 2 plus 4, and that equals 6. And I put together the numbers that I need to subtract. 8 plus 9, that equals 17. I'm going to record that. So I'm going to make a table and I'm going to show the numbers that I needed to subtract, which were 8 and 9, and the numbers that I needed to add, which were 2 and 4. The sum of the numbers I needed to subtract 8 and 9 is 17, and the sum of the numbers I needed to add 2 and 4 is 6. The difference, 17 minus 6, equals 11. And this tells me that the number that I started with, which was 2,849, is divisible by 11.